Hello there, I'm Sarah Beth Aubrey, and I'm the owner and founder of ACT Aubrey Coaching and Training, as well as Elevate Ag, the peer innovation network for leaders in agriculture, at the farm gate, and in agribusiness. I want to come to you today with a few tips and ideas that I have found could be effective for you as you navigate the current crisis that we're in. And the topic I want to discuss today is the four reactions of crisis. I know that many of you lead teams and have obviously got, if nothing else, you've got clients and customers that you're working with and you're trying to continue to build and navigate a relationship with during this challenging time. So just kind of coming to you as a peer to peer today to present what I consider these four types of crisis reactions and hopefully they're helpful as you look to see how they can help in your day to day. So why uncover these four? Well, everyone comes at leading through change differently and change comes during crisis as well. So we take things at a different pace as individuals and we make decisions and come to terms with change very differently. So it's helpful to try to identify where important members of your team, whether they're external, such as salespeople or customers or marketing or internal people that you work with on a day to day basis. And it's also important to know where do you fall? in one of these four categories. And that's gonna help you to think through the reactions that you're having and the conversations you're having, as well as maybe some of the messages that you're putting out there. So, and if you find, uh, give yourself a really honest self-assessment here. And if you find that you're in one of the four that you don't exactly feel excited about or don't wanna be in, what do you need to do to reset that mindset to get you to the next place? So let's just cover these now. So number one is the hide and hunger. Unfortunately, the common reaction for this could be manifested in things like slashing budgets, just simply shutting the doors and not um, working. You may find from clients and customers, they may be unwilling to even take calls to schedule that meeting over Zoom instead of live. They may be completely not ready yet at all to look at going out with dates or even to you know change the structure and design of how you do something. Okay, so we aren't gonna do it in person. Let's schedule a Zoom for September or whatever. The slash and hide, hunker and hide person's reactions are very much um, manifested in those kinds of ways. So what is the real underlying issue for this personal reaction type? They're, they're acting out of fear and they have not yet accepted that things are changing and that things are different. Okay, so number two, and, well, I, and we add this. With that person, when they're in that spot, it's gonna be really difficult to move them out of that. You know, that's the lead the horse to water but can't make them drink. Now you can be positive, supportive, kind, and graceful with this individual when they're in that spot. You can send them uplifting things, you can send them good information, but you probably can't expect a lot of quick forward motion for them anytime soon. Now, number two is the conformist. This person's reaction is basically to listen to the authorities and follow all the rules to the T. They're probably Googling online for more rules to follow. They're watching the daily news briefings. They started um, really trying to be as proactive as possible about whatever recommendations were coming out from the government as soon as they knew them. And so with this particular type of individual, they are very much searching for answers and they're not gonna move forward and tell an authoritative figure in this case with what we're dealing with right now, it definitely could be the government tells them they can. So the underlying issue for them is they're stuck in pause. And when they're stuck in pause, they're unsure of what's coming and that lack of certainty is leading them to not be ready to make change. You may be able to send them some good information, science-based information, make sure that they're not falling into reading a lot of junk that's not um, valuable and try to talk with them about what they can do to move forward. Okay, three is the fence rider. Now this particular reaction type, they are probably bored. They're really eager to get back to what they know to be true or get back into the game. They may be ready to do some new things. Accepting changes is not a big problem for them, but what they really have a need for is an assurance from someone influential. So unlike the conformist who must have the rules, the Fence rider wants to dip their toe back into the world, but they really want to feel sure that it's okay. Some of them may be experiencing things like guilt for moving forward if some friends are still stuck in one of those first two reaction types. Um, they may be wanting someone who's an influencer that matters to them to help them. One thing you can really do with this particular spot, if a person's in this, is to give them a little bit of information about what's the high cost of doing nothing. 
What does that cost them as a person to their business, to their division, whatever it is, to the company? That kind of talk put, you know, and, and put into a value sort of equation could be really helpful. And if you're the right influencer for them or get influencers to them that they can respect, you'll be able to get them to move forward effectively for you. Now, the last one is the Vanguard. The Vanguard is, their reaction up front was probably anger, and then that anger or what was either shifted into a defiance, or it probably went from there straight to action. Oh, really? This isn't gonna hold me back. I mean, you may definitely have some people like that on your team who are almost fighting uh, some of the things happening that were limiting them, fighting the need to have any fears. You know, so these people can be a little bit, um, impatient and they're but they were also part of your but they're also a team member who's ready to change and so their underlying issues are definitely impatience but they're also that they're probably an innovator anyway and this vanguard type i mean in the military terms vanguard literally means to be at the forefront of the action use your vanguards on your team to help bring others along but just make sure they're doing it in a kind and graceful way and not too pushy beating on those folks <laughs> who are back in one of those other two reaction types not as ready to move forward but you also can really use the vanguards on your team to drive the solutions they've already been coming up with solutions if you're not the vanguard on your team your vanguards are probably saying we could do this let's change this it's different you know, their underlying reaction to crisis is, so what, the world's different, we're still alive, let's get this done and here's my new ideas. The risk you run with vanguards on your team is losing them. If you cannot show these vanguards value, if you cannot move things forward that are interesting to them, they'll move someplace else because they are afraid that you are not going to innovate or change with them. So these top talent in the vanguard category, you gotta be careful not to lose because they're ready to move forward and they'll help you do that. So I hope these four types of reactions to crisis was valuable to you today. And I wish you the best in your business. You can call on me anytime. I'm Sarah Beth Aubrey, and you can reach me through my social profiles or at Sarah at SarahBethAubrey.com. Thank you.